Uh, Mangoba, thank you so much for joining us this morning, and it's good to see you. Uh, we had the funeral actually took place around 7.30 this morning. Uh, tell us about the, uh, what's happened so far. Well, certainly, Tony, quite a sad send-off to the young children who were, of course, found dead last week Saturday. They had gone missing on Friday from a saloon uh, where they were accompanied by their aunt. And uh, today, the community gathering here to pay tribute, but more than anything, mourning for the death of these two young friends. And you can see behind me some gender activists here already on the scene. They've gathered here to come and voice their discontent over the killing of young children in this community. Uh, in fact, carrying some of the placards that say, stop killing our children and women, Vala Izip Baba. And also, interestingly, another one with uh, a list of all those who have died, the young children that have died in this community over the past five months. We do know that uh, in June, the body of uh, baby Antia Keha was found in a dustbin here in this very area. And also, Zandi Lezito, who was five years old, was found dead in April in a fridge in a tavern here in this community. And there are other ones, Mpo, as well as Mpiwe. Those are the ones that you are laying to rest today here in Orange Farm. And of course, the community is saying that they now live in fear following these murders. And uh, in fact, calling for action and calling and pleading for help. So this is a community crying out for help, Tony, saying that they now fear that their children could be next. They want action now, and they're even calling on the police minister to take action. I'm just going to try and speak to some of the ladies just to get a sense from these. Let's just listen to them. Well, it comes, uh, Tony, as the family is still looking for answers. We do know that uh, there has been no arrest so far. And in fact, they're still baffled as to why two young lives with so much ahead of them could be taken in this brutal way. I'm just going to try to speak to some of the ladies just to get a sense of what they are saying today. Well, uh, Tony, um, it is a sad um, sad event that uh, we are witnessing here in this community. Thank you. So, WIM is Women in Motion. That is a gender based violence group here, activists here in the community who have uh, been quite vocal about the incidents of child killing, but not only that, the incidents of rape. You'll know that uh, this area in particular, Orange Farm, has been identified as one of the hotspots for gender based violence, and now recently the murder of children. Uh, the police minister, of course, saying that it is among that list of 13. Quite concerned, the community members are here about what's going to happen, seemingly that woman in this community, and now children are not safe in this community. Let me get uh, the last uh, mama here, just to speak. Mama, my child is our child, enough is enough. What is your message here today? So enough is enough. Okay, the lady saying that, you know, this has really shocked the community. In fact, they now even fear sending their own children to the shops because they fear that they could be slashed or they could be killed. So the community is quite on edge here. And uh, you'll remember that earlier during this week, they also marched to the police station demanding action from the police whom they're saying are simply not doing enough to stop this uh, senseless killing of children in this community. So the funeral service is currently underway here 
at the Orange Farm Hall just behind me, and we're going to be going there soon, Peter. I told you. But do we know anything about uh, what, what the authorities are saying? Have they made any headway at all in this particular case? Well, at this point, uh, the authorities have condemned the incident. But in terms of arrests, I mean, we've tried to find out at all whether there are any arrests in this case. We have been told that so far there have been no arrests. Police are still investigating. And of course, you remember that police uh, or the, the community members marched to the police station demanding them to take swift action and uh, threatening that they're even going to take the law into their own arms. So they come here to bury these two friends with a heavy heart, knowing that uh, the killers have not been arrested yet. Mangoba, thank you so much for your reporting. That's our reporter there, Mangoba Mtunu, who's at in Orange Farm at the funeral of those uh, two young kids who were found uh, dead last week Saturday.